Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back uh, to my course, uh, Aspects of Biochemical Engineering. Now, uh, in this, uh, in the last uh, lecture, I tried to discuss that how the cell concentration can be expressed and I told you that two different type of cells are there. One is called unicellular cell, another is the multicellular cell and all, how do we call it, filamentous type of cells. Now, in case of unicellular cell, number is proportional to mass. So, we can express the concentration of the cells both in terms of mass per unit volume or number of cell per unit volume and all are interconvertible. But in case of uh, this uh, filamentous cell or the, the number is not proportional to mass. So, we shall have to express only mass per unit volume. Now, then I try to discuss that uh, how the uh, growth model can be expressed that you know that uh, rate of growth of the cell can be expressed. So, the, this model can be of four different types. One is called uh, segregated model, unsegregated model, structured model and unstructured model. Now, uh, segregated model means as you know that we have uh, in our if you look at the, our human population that we will find the all, all the people there some way differ from each other, they are not alike. So, so same thing happens to the microbial system that all, all cells they, they grow in a different way. So, if we, if we consider if we put a marker to the each, each and every cell and we, we monitor the rate of growth of the individual cells and we write the growth equation for the individual cells, then we call it segregated model. But uh, uh, what is the unsegregated model? When we assume that all the growth of the all cells are there uniform. And this is kind of ideal situa situation, not the real situation. The real situation is that that uh, the uh, growth characteristics of the individual cells that should be different. Now, in case of structured model, I told you the living cell comprises of different type of biomolecules like RNA, DNA, protein. Now, if your if your if your if your model deals with how these biomolecules changes with respect to time then individual you know, rate of change of RNA, how, how it depends on the different parameters, rate of change of protein, how it depends with the param different parameters, then we call it structured model. Now, if we assume the rate of, uh, rate of change of RNA, rate of change of DNA, rate of change of protein or other biomolecules, they are uniform, they are not same, then, then we call it unstructured model. So, we, we can easily visualize from that that unstructured and unsegregated model are simplified model, what we call ideal model. And uh, real model is the ever segregated and structured model. Now, uh, monod similar to the Michaelis Menten equation, they propose the equation that is mu equal to mu max s k s plus s. Now, this is, uh, this is uh, uh, usually this is the unstructured and unsegregated model. Now, uh, and, and this uh, kinetic constant that uh, mu max and k is, we can easily de determine with the help of plotting the limer verbach plot. Now, then log phase, am I right? And if it is uh, active in the log phase, our inoculation should be done in between mid log phase to the, uh, mid, from mid log phase to late log phase. So, this, uh, this uh, I discussed in the, in the last uh, class. Now, today, I, I, I want to share with you uh, with other model, other type of models that proposed by different scientists and, um, and then we are going to discuss substrate inhibition and product inhibition and some toxic, product, toxic inhibition of the microbial system and then we shall switch over to the lutecking pirate and the part models. Now, first let me start with and that you know that uh, other models 
that is proposed by the different scientists. First uh, model is the Blackman equation. This equation is mu g equal to mu max and that is valid when s is greater than 2 k s. Now, mu g, mu g is the specific growth rate. Uh, the, the, then this is equal to mu max twice k s into s if s is less than k s. Trezier model is mu g equal to mu max 1 minus e to the power k into s. And then that Moser model, this is mu g equal to mu max h to the power n k s plus h to the power n. Here, I, I have seen that 1, uh, we can find out if 1 n equal to 1, then this equation tends to monod equation. Am I right? This uh, tends to monod equation. Now, here also, we have seen the k s, k s x, k s x, we know saturation constant. Now, this saturation constant is correlated with the cell mass concentration. Now, if we, if we, uh, if the cell mass concentration is constant, then we can assume this as a constant, then, uh, then also this will approach to the monod equation. Now, as, as I told you that different type of inhibition that we have that uh, I, can, I can give you a typical example. Suppose, uh, uh, when, when, you, when you plot mu versus s, this we have this kind of plot. This is no inhibition, no inhibition. Now, in case of substrate inhibition, what will happen? This will be like this. This is with inhibition. No, why at the higher substrate concentration there will be inhibition. So, this we consider as a substrate inhibition. Now, during when when we, uh, we discuss the enzymatic reaction kinetics, we have we pointed out in case of enzyme, we, we, know, we know this is a substrate. Am I right? The enzyme also we have substrate inhibition. When, when individual substrate they interact with the active side, they give the product. But when you have two substrate try to interact the same active side, then we, we find some kind of inhibition take place. So, but this we explain during the enzymatic reaction kinetics. The inhibition pattern of the microbial growth is analogous to the enzyme inhibition. This is exactly what I, I want to explain. Now, often underlying principle mechanisms are complicated. The kinetic constants are obtained from the experimental data per guard fitting that we also we have uh, we have found out and and we found out that you know there are three type of inhibition is substrate inhibition product inhibition and inhibition by the toxic compounds so you know that uh, during the enzymatic reaction kinetics i have given one example that how the uh, enzymatic reaction kinetics can help you to determine the concentration of the toxic component like the pesticide. So, uh, so this is uh, the, the same similar type of things that is applicable to the microbial system also. Now, first let me discuss about the substrate inhibition. At high substrate concentration, microbial growth is inhibited by the substrate because this is the normal we have seen in our, our case also. The we, we the human beings, when we take, uh, we start taking food, we take excess of food, our system also uh, gets affected. So, similar things happen with the microbial system also. And this, uh, this inhibition may be of two types, one is called compete, non-competitive inhibition and other we have competitive inhibition. Now, we have already seen that what do you mean by competitive inhibition and what is called non-competitive inhibition. Now, what is the, if you, if you have a line of bar plot like 1 by mu versus 1 by s plot, then here there is no inhibition. This is no inhibition, am I right? Now, in case of non-competitive inhibition, this will be non-competitive inhibition, non-competitive inhibition am i right and and in case of uh, competitive inhibition uh, what will there there this will be competitive inhibition this is like this this is competitive inhibition this we have we have we have already uh, found in case of enzymatic reaction similar thing is applicable here 
the equation is similar to that only the thing is that the the different uh, mu is the v is substituted by mu and k m is substituted by uh, k s that is the saturation constant so this is the can be written and this can be if k i is the uh, uh, the uh, that enzyme and inhibitor complex uh, constant the equilibrium constant is more than the k s then we can write mu equal to mu max s k s plus s s, s square by k i and competitive inhibition we can similar to enzymatic reaction we can write like this now substrate inhibition may be elevated by slow um, and intermediate addition of substrate of the growth media. The what does it mean that uh, in the growth media, if we if we add substrate slowly, then uh, then the uh, this substrate inhibition can be avoided. Now I can give a typical example that fed batch process. What is the fed batch process? That we can two type of feeding we can have in the reactor, either constant in intermediate feeding or constant volume feeding. So, like this we can we can find out that we can find that you know your your system can use your organism can use more substrate uh, during the fermentation process. So, this is how we can partially overcome the substrate inhibition problem. Now, uh, product inhibition we have it is similar to the substrate inhibition that uh, high concentration of product can inhibitory effect on the growth of the cells. We have seen that particularly uh, in case of uh, ethanol fermentation process, acetic acid fermentation process, we have seen that high concentration of product uh, that have some kind of inhibitory effect. The product inhibition uh, of growth may be competitive or non-competitive. And when underlying mechanism under known, the inhibited, inhibited growth rate is approximated to exponential and linear decay expression. So, you know that uh, this is like this that, uh, uh, that we can have three different types non, non competitive inhibition as we mentioned be before that uh, the similar type of expression is there only this is re S is replaced by substrate inhibition it was S and it is replaced by P and K P is the product inhibition constant. And in case of competitive inhibition we have similar type of expression and in case of the other rate in linearized expression this we can we can have mu equal to that uh, uh, this exponential type uh, this is the mu max s 1 plus k s by s 1 by 1 by p, p m maximum product to the power n. A p m is the concentration at which the growth stops when concentration is maximum at the maximum concentration growth no growth take place. This can be modified in this form. So, three this three three different type of models we have this different type of equation we can use just to describe the, the product inhibition. Now, I was talking about the inhibition with the respect to some toxic uh, compounds that uh, 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 that uh, that may be produced during the fermentation process or if you add some kind of toxic compounds that you know that it can be expressed like this in case of non-competitive inhibition it would be this, in competitive inhibition it will be this and uncompetitive inhibition it will be the similar to the enzymatic reaction all the cases if you put i equal to 0 then all the models will be tends to the monod equation so this is uh, this is uh, similar to the enzymatic reaction i already explained so i am not explaining again now now that you know we do, we discuss about the monod equation for the cell growth kinetics now it can be explained with the help of other equation what you call logistic equation. The it, it characterizes the cell growth in time of carrying capacity that is the maximum uh, cell mass that can be obtained. That you know that means this, uh, this uh, model or this equation based on that how much maximum cells can be concentration can be achieved on the basis of that not on the basis of substrate concentration. That the, so, basic difference between the monod equation and the logistic equation is that monod equation based on a uh, concentration of limiting substrate when uh, logistic model uh, depends on the maximum 
uh, substrate concentration. So, this expression is that the rate of cell mass formation equal to k into x 1 minus x by x. x, x is the concentration of cell at any time t. Uh, this is uh, what he has written here with any time t and x m is the maximum biomass concentration at the end is the gram per liter and k is the logistic rate constant. This is k is the logistic. So, this can be explained like this. Now, this uh, integral form of the above equation can be written in this form. If we, if we solve this equation, it will come in this form. This uh, you can write in this form. So, what is the difference between the logistic equation and the monod equation? The monod equation as I pointed out that the growth related with the biomass concentration and limiting substrate concentration. Am I right? Biomass concentration because when we consider mu, mu equal to what? 1 by x dx by dt. So, it depends on the concentration of the cells and if you look at the monod equation mu equal to what? Mu max s k s plus s. So, it is the limiting substrate concentration. So, it is there and then in the logistic equation is independent of substrate concentration, it does not depend on substrate concentration, it is only related to the, the biomass concentration. What we have already observed that how it is related to the biomass concentration. In the logistic equation directly proportional to the biomass concentration and the carrying capacity, the, the x m minus x. Now, in case of unicellular cell, we do not have much of problem because uh, but you know we have a typical type of growth characteristics in case of filamentous type of organism as for example, Aspergillus niger. Aspergillus niger, Aspergillus armory when you grow in the fermentation media that you know when you, they grow in the fermentation media what will happen? This uh, what will happen? This uh, you will find lot of pellet formation, the circular, the, the spherical pellet formation, the cells they will form the pellet inside the reactor. So, the question comes how uh, this, uh, this, uh, this we can uh, growth model can be developed in case of filamentous organism. The filamentous organism such as mold form the microbial pellet at the high cell density in suspension. So, this is under submerged condition they form the pellet. Now, cell growth inside the pellet is subject to diffusion limitation obviously, when there is a pellet if the concentration of the cell then diffusion of the substrate is a, a substrate diffusion inside the pellet is a problem. The absence of mass transfer limitation that you know radius of the pellet in submerged culture increases linearly with time as the, the dr by dt, dr is the change of radius of the pellet uh, with respect we assume to be constant the came where the r is considered as the radius of the pellet. Now, here the mass of the cell, the, the volume of a pellet, pellet is a, uh, we can consider this is a spherical inset. Uh, what is the volume of the sphere? 4 by 4 by 3 pi r cubed, am I right? Now, what is the, the rho, rho unit of rho is the volume per unit, uh, mass per unit volume, mass per unit volume, am I right? Now, if you if you multiply volume with mass uh, that you know density, so this will be obviously mass. Now, if you differentiate with respect to time, then we will get this equation pi rho for um, uh, pi r square dr by dt and we can write in this form and finally, we can write dm by dt equal to gamma into m to the power 2 by 3 where gamma is equal to k p into 36 pi rho to the power 1 by 3. Then we can write that m is coming in this form. Now, if m we can differentiate, we will get this equation and dm and this I have already explained. Then, then if you if you if you go to here, this is dm by dt equal to m m m to the power 2 by 3, am I right? 
Now, if you write <coughs> the m integrate, we will we'll get this form. This is the m equal to m 0 to the power 1 by 3 gamma t by 3 to the power 3. Now, if we if we assume m 0, the initial mass of the pellet is negligible as compared to final mass, then we can write this equation in this form. And this is the this is how we can develop the uh, correlation and the above equation gives the cubic dependence of the mass with respect to time. So, this is how we can develop the growth model in case of filamentous type of organism. Now, uh, as far as far microbial system is concerned that uh, you know that uh, that uh, up till now we talk about the rate of growth of the cells. Now, what is about the product formation? And the rate of how the rate of product formation uh, is correlated with the growth of the cells. The so, most of the microbial process that uh, we grow the cell to get the desired amount of product. I mentioned the basic difference between the biochemical process and the chemical process is what that I told you that same substrate can produce the n number of products. Here we only we change the and the type of organism in the system because glucose can be converted to citric acid, glucose can be converted to ethanol, glucose can be converted to uh, acetic acid. So, uh, the, the so question comes that how this product formation take place, how this product formation is correlated with the cell growth. Now, this has been established by the Ludeking pirate. Ludeking pirate the proposed the equation like this that uh, you can see here that uh, dp by dt this is the equation they propose dp by dt equal to alpha dx by dt into beta into x where, where alpha is considered as a growth associated coefficient you see that growth associated uh, co this alpha is the growth associated coefficient and uh, beta is the non growth associated coefficient so i can write alpha is the growth associated coefficient am i right and beta is non growth associated non growth associated coefficient okay the <coughs> so now if you divide by x then it will be specific product formation rate equal to alpha into specific growth rate of the cell into beta so, so obviously, we can write in the short form q p equal to alpha into mu into beta plus beta. So, this is something equal to y equal to m x plus c, this is equal to y into m x plus c, am I right? It is a straight line equation. So, so what we have we have seen that if you if this plot, plot is the, this is the beta intercept is the beta value and the slope is the alpha value. So, when in the growth model we have both alpha and beta value, then we call, we call it mixed growth associated product. Now, in case of when beta is 0, the here beta value equal to 0, am I right? This is passing through the origin. Then we consider this as a growth associated product. Now, in case of non growth associated product, the beta value should not change with respect to mu. Now, you can see here that uh, your specific rate of product formation it should be constant this will not change with respect to mu value then we call it non growth associated product now question comes that what are the different examples we have uh, we have in case of growth associated product and non growth associated product now what i want to point out suppose suppose this is a batch fermentation process this is the batch fermentation process and uh, here we first we put the media then we put the cell, am I right? Then time to time you can draw the sample. So if you if you find out that you can you can find out the x, you can p at different times you can you can find out this is with respect to time. You know the x p if you plot if it is if it is like this uh, and it is like this. So this is p and this is x. Now one we should all remember the x should be little it should not be 0 this is 0 am i right because why it should not be 0 because you have to use the inoculum am i right the cell you are adding to the media so there will be some initial cell mass concentration 
and from that the cell mass increase will take place. And then if your product formation as your cells grow, if your product formation take place simultaneously then what we can write dp by dt is proportional to dx by dt, am I right? So, in that case we call it this is growth associated product, growth associated product, am I right? Now, if, if suppose when your organism attain the plateau, then your product formation start, then this is an example of non growth associated product. Now, at that, uh, at that situation d p by d t will be proportional to x, it will not be proportional to d x by d t. In case of non growth associated product, your d p by d t will be proportional to x. Now, in case of mixed growth associated product, this is mixed growth that what will happen both it, it uh, neither it is growth associated nor it a completely non growth associated product. So, so both it depends on the growth of the cell and uh, rate of growth of the cell and the cell mass concentration then we call it mixed growth associated. Now, examples are several, but in case of growth associated product the examples I told you that is the ethanol fermentation am I right. And in case of non growth associated product all the antibiotics, antibiotics like penicillin. Now, in case of mixed growth associated product is the lactic acid. So, this is the different fermentation process that we have. Now, next is the part equation. The part equation is a equation where a cell, when cell grow, it is some of the substrate used for the cell maintenance purpose. Now, what do you mean by cell maintenance? Because in a solution, if you see under the microscope, we will find cells are moving one place to others. Uh, how they are moving? They require some energy, am I right? So, that is called maintenance, cell maintenance. Not only cells, the, that the cells sometimes due to mechanical stirring and other purpose cell may get ruptured and for the recovery of the cell also they require some kind of energy and for the formation of some protein also they require energy. So, the cell maintenance is a very important aspect that is that is the, that uh, that has been considered by part. Now, how they have considered what they are saying the rate of substrate that is consumed in the system it has dual purpose it, substrate is going for growth of the cells and substrate is going for the maintenance of the cells. Now, when you say that uh, d s by d t when write like the d s by d t what I can write this is equal to d s by d x d x by d t am I right. So, this is equal to 1 by y x by s into mu into x. So, this is exactly what he has written mu x into y x by s overall mu x y does the growth plus m x. Why m x the maintenance of the cells it depends on the is proportional to the concentration of the cell more cell more will be the maintenance less cell less will be maintenance. So, this m is considered as a maintenance coefficient coefficient ok. This is maintenance coefficient. Now, if you divide by mu x then we have this correlation. Now, here if we plot 1 by y x by s overall and 1 by mu then we will get a straight line the slope will give you the value of m and intercept will give you the 1 by y y dash x that is the this is called true yield coefficient. What is true yield coefficient? Mass of cell produce amount of cell produce from per, per gram of substrate consumed when substrate is used only for the cell growth not for other purpose that is called true growth yield and this is remain constant for a particular organism. Now, let us see th this very interesting problem it has been extremely argued that Luttigin pirate model related to the cell growth and product formation and maintenance of the energy model that is the part equation or equation equivalent do you agree and substitute your answer. Now, what, what does it mean that uh, that we by the time we know by this time we know that what is part equation part equation deals with the maintenance of the cell and Luttigin pirate model deals with the product formation. The question comes are they equal 
are they equivalent not equal are they equivalent now how we can justify that now in the part equation we have this equation that model we have already derived and this has come from this am i right that minus ds by dt equal to mu mu x y dash this is the two wheel coefficient m to x now y dash x by s is constant am i right so we can write ds by dt is minus ds by dt is constant into mu into x plus constant into x now when you go to um, come to the uh, uh, ludeking pirate model we can write the substrate used for 12 purpose similar to part equation one is for growth another is for product formation now whatever the substrate used for growth i can write like this similar to part equation and this is for uh, this is for from the ludeking pirate model now we if we if we analyze this two equation then we can write minus ds by dt equal to this uh, mi minus this we can write though this is constant and this is also constant so we can write ds by dt equal to constant into mu uh, mu x and this is constant to mu x and we have found in case of part model also it is same so from that we can conclude that both are e equivalent so <coughs> so uh, in conclusion i want to tell that uh, different uh, besides monod equation other scientists they propose the different type of growth model for the uh, for correlating the how the substrate concentration related with the cell mass growth and we find uh, that uh, uh, that you know some cases we can maybe uh, the, the case the saturation constant is by particular constraints model the saturation constant is related with the cell mass growth if we cell mass growth is constant then cell mass concentration is constant then it approaches to the monod equation then uh, then we try to explain the logistic equation and try to difference in logistic equation depends on the uh, concentration of the biomass it doesn't related with the concentration of the substrate and finally i try to discuss Uh, the the ludeking pirate model and part equation how they relate with the product formation and the maintenance of the cells thank you very much